Alright guys, this is going to be a part two on my Centria and my announcement video. So, I just did vacuum the video and you've seen it, it's on my iPhone. Um, so, as I was saying, I'm going to be getting a Generation 3. So, which means what I'm going to have to do <clears throat> is take all this over here, do something with it, I don't know yet, probably take it over next door, and then I'm going to have to scoot those Kirby's over. I'm going to scoot all of them over this way, closer to the foot of the bed. So that way I can park my Generation 3 right next to my G4 over here. Now my G Generation 3 that I'm getting came out in October of 1991. So, so keep in mind that's going to be another older G Kirby that I got. Um, believe it or not, growing up my mom had a Generation 3 when I was growing up, as a kid growing up in the 90s. So, you know, growing up as a kid, and like I said, as I was growing up, we had that Generation 3, and then we traded it off for a G5. I think that one, <coughs> we got our G5 and I want to say 98, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And we had that thing forever. Um, so I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what your RG5 was. Alright guys, so I hope you guys will enjoy part one and two of, my, of this video. Um, again, I'm getting that Generation 3 from Kirby guys, so he, I, I just met him about a month ago or so on Facebook through a vacuum cleaner group that I'm in. Believe it or not, it was in the Kirby group. So, so then the G4 I got over next door in storage. I'll be trading that G4 for, that I got over in storage. I'm going to be trading that vacuum for that Generation 3 that I'm going to be getting. Now, when I get it, that machine is going to make its face known. It's going to make its appearance known on this channel, as well as my Century it has multiple times already. And I've only had my Century for about two months. So, and I've had zero, zero trouble with my Sentry, and I'm actually pleased with it, to be honest. Um, I'm pleased with its overall performance. My next Sentry to get my hands on will be the Sentry 2 from 2012, which was when the, that first came out. The Sentry. The first one, which is the one I got, came out in 2006, and it was on the shelf for six years, which then 
in 2012, which was when the Centria came out. When in 2012, I do not know. So that part I don't know. I just know in 2012 the Centria was brought out. The Centria came out several years after. Yeah, three years after the uh, Ultimate G Diamond Edition was retired in 2003. So just make sure you know that. Um, the gen first year that Generation 3 came out was in 1990, and that was the first year Kirby actually put the tech drives on their machines. Um, and as the machines got newer, the tech drives also improved, in my opinion. This one here, the Centria, you can't even hardly hear the tech drive, which is good. That means it's pretty, that means it's working what it should. You don't hear that annoying sound that the other ones make, like the Generation 4 does. Um, which I'm, I'm fine with that, um, but I will be putting an LED light in my Generation 3. So what I'm going to do when I get that, I'm going to be pulling the LED light out of my Bissell, my Cyclonic, and put a regular bulb back in it, and then put an LED bulb, put the LED bulb from that one in that Generation 3. So that means all my G-Series Kirby's will have LED lights when I'm said and done with it. Then, what I'm going to do eventually is get an LED light for my Heritage 2. Now, my Kirby Heritage 2 came out in 1984. Now, if you think about it, it probably should be a Heritage 1, which uh, that was the one that came out in 1984. So, a little, uh, little uh, fun fact for you guys. In the Generation 4, the first year they came out was in 93. And it was out on the shelf till I think, 97, which was when the G5 came out. Late 96, I think, is when the last one was made. But I'd like to find a G4 from 96, even though the body style didn't change. So, with that being said, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Both videos, actually. I will not be able to post them until tomorrow. But when I do post them, I hope you guys like these videos. This is part two. Part one is on the iPhone. Um, I hope you like the videos. Leave good comments down below if you want. Feel free to share with your vacuuming buddies out there. Um, also, subscribe to this channel for more vacuuming videos and updates on how my Kirby's are running along with my other vacuums that are not Kirby's. Um, other than that, guys, oh yes, also when you subscribe to my channel, Take a moment to escort your arrow over to the post bell notification icon so you all don't miss out on anything I upload including live streams, claw machine videos, vacuum videos, and updates on how my Kirby's are running. Until next time everybody, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.